when I visited Versailles this July, I arrived uh, in the middle of the afternoon, I checked into the hotel, and then I went for a walk through the gardens. And first I went to the Orangerie. Here I am at the top of the staircase called the Hundred Steps, now looking south toward the Pièce d'eau des Suisses, the Lake of the Swiss Guards. Since the gardeners were moving trees outside, the doors of the Orangerie were open. And I had actually never been inside this building, which, as far as I know, is closed to visitors and tourists and only opens for special events and receptions. So I thought, well, let's go inside and see how far I can get. This is the main gallery of the Orangerie, and at the very end is actually a famous sculpture. This is the original of Bernini's equestrian portrait of Louis XIV, but the king was very disappointed when he saw it, and so he refused to exhibit it, and he actually asked François Girardon, the sculptor from the grotto, to modify it so that it would not be recognized as a portrait of the king. And a copy of this is outside now, but far away from the chateau, and this is the original inside the Orangerie. And in another corner there is another famous original marble group, this one sculpted by François Girardon himself. This is the Rape of Persephone, or Proserpina, which was created originally for the gardens. And today a copy of this is in the center of the colonnade grove, la colonnade, whereas the original is kept safe inside the orangerie. And last but not least, there is also a vestibule in the orangerie, which has the original marble tub from the Appartement des Bains, the bathing apartments of Louis XIV and Madame de Montespan.